Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you some thoughts I have on how to build reusable components in React. So let's get into it. So basically I got a question from my coworker the other day, Frederick, how sh I mean should we start making reusable components by default and how do we go about actually making something reusable and not having to change it all the time. So basically what we're going to cover is what I like to think of a mental, as a mental mistake some make when creating a component and why I believe it happens and then kind of how to fix it. So one of the most most common things that I notice when somebody's designing a component is that they start by thinking of the feature that they want to build because that's very common, right? You have some type of feature request from your stakeholders and you kind of want to start thinking about, all right, you're going to have some data and you need to represent that data somehow and then you have some interactions and then you need probably to make a network request or something like that, process something to a database or something like that. And that is where the mental mistake starts. So basically what I'm stating here is that you have already made the first mistake. Because when you start thinking about it from this perspective, you have already made a mental commitment to the feature as, as a whole. But when you're designing something to be reusable, you need to let go of the context that you find yourself in. And this hopefully will be illustrated with these examples. So let's just have a very quick look at my little application here. So here I have my very simple little application. I do a bunch of imports and we're using Redux, we're using React Redux. And then we're basically just using a standard React setup. This is very, I, you should be fairly, fairly familiar with this if you're doing React development. And here's my provider with my store and here's some data and here are my different cards that I have. And then I will show you my cards. These are my cards. They all contain the same information here pretty much as you can see. And yeah, so let's start walking through this. Now, the first and foremost thing someone might do is that, let's say for the sake of argument that we get a feature request for a payment plan application. So we want to create a, we have some payment system somewhere or some product that somebody wants to show to a user of some sort. And the first request is that, okay, we need to expose some information on a card. All right, simple enough. So the first thing we do is that we start thinking about, okay, we have a payment of some sort and we have some data that we want to represent as that payment. So what we do is this sort of thing here where, okay, we have some type of payment and it needs to be, it's gonna, like the payment needs to be, be within these two dates here and it's $200 or something like that to actually pay this payment of some sort, right? The data isn't all that important right now. And then what we will do is that we will make a component that is something like this where, all right, so we're importing some styles here. I'll just very quickly show you the styles. The styles aren't all that important for this, but I'll just show you. I basically just duplicated these in all of the different cards. So just don't, this is not necessarily the exact way to do this, but it's just like to get the idea over to you guys. And then we have this little producer that does absolutely nothing because I'm just, I just want to wire everything up to kind of illustrate a point. But the focus is this. So you, as you can see here, this is fairly straightforward. Like we have a payment of with a payment object with some data, and then we have an on accept function that's going to be fired whenever we basically create a uh, well, someone clicks. That's pretty much it. And here is our little container component and then it wires everything up and all it's going to do is that it's not actually, actually not going to inject anything it's just going to do an on accept and when you click it's going to say accepted so when i click here hey it says it says accepted awesome so this is pretty much i will argue the default for 99 percent of all the developers out there when they get a feature request of some sort now the next thing that's going to happen is that we are going to get a shipment or some sort. Like we're going to ship this, right? And then some time will pass. Now we're going into the future and all of a sudden someone comes and says, hey, you know what? This payment thing, it's kind of catching on. But now we want to do something like down payments. Okay. Then you think to yourself, you come to this component here and you start looking at it and you see that, all right, uh, well, 
I could probably refactor this and change it into something that supports down payments because if we look at the down payment, it's very similar, like the monthly payment I call it here, but well, it's just for the sake, we call it a down payment information card here basically. It's very similar, but it's also got this monthly cost thing, which is going to represent the installments type of thing here. Um, so, I mean, now we're just pretending here, but let's imagine that this component was a lot more complicated because then it might be like, yeah, right, maybe I should refactor this, but you also are in that situation where you probably have a deadline. We need to ship this by tomorrow, your boss saying to, is saying to you. And with that short of a deadline, you kind of go, ah, shit, I it's, I, I'm just gonna copy paste it, right? All right, I'm just gonna copy paste it. So what you do is that you do this, where you basically create a, you basically copy paste this entire directory here. And just to prove it to you, this is pretty much the exact same component with everything identical. And then you take in the payment and then you change the hard coded text here and you add some stuff here. And then you add a field here, cost per month, which is gonna contain the monthly cost and then you're left with this component here. Easy peasy, right? It took like nothing, not, not much, not that much effort. And you know, you feel a little bit bad about it, of course, because now you blowed up the code and you didn't reuse things and you feel really shitty about it. So this is uh, this thing here, it happens. You should know that this happens quite often. And the reason why it happened was because you have that magical combination between, all right, it was simply unfeasible at this time to reuse in an efficient way. It was, it's not impossible. You could, if with, with enough time, you could have refactored this into something completely reusable and you could have done this the right way. But the problem was that you didn't really have the time to do it. So that's one scenario where you would just copy paste it and you had to copy paste it because this wasn't reusable by default. It is already specific. You have already leaked in the concept of that this thing here is tied to a payment. It's not a monthly payment. It's not a down payment. It's a payment. And that is clunky to change mid, mid, mid implementation, right? So it's something that requires a bit of thinking. So. Now we're going to go into the next scenario. Let's just say for the sake of argument, we're in the same situation and you have time now to actually refactor this in a nice and efficient way. So this is the second most common thing that I see. This is also the styles are the same. The reducer is pretty much the same and clever information component is pretty much uh, the same thing here. And then we do this. This is the second most common, and this is the thing that quite a lot of people do when uh, they think, you know, they, when they kind of think that, okay, I'm going to make this a reusable component, or I'm going to make this fit more use cases. So what are they? What, what they're going to do is that they're going to pay pass in the payment, and then they're going to do conditional rendering. And this is clever because now we can check if there is a monthly cost, and then we're going to render out this header. If there isn't a monthly cost, we're going to render out this header. And then we can do the same thing on this section here with the monthly cost and everything is hunky-dory, right? And that leaves us with a somewhat reusable component. Because if we look at my little index file here, we can see here that I'm using the same component and all I'm really doing here is that in one case I pass in the payment and in the other case I pass in the monthly payment. So we're allowing the shape of our data to decide the look and feel and the behavior, basically the structure of these two components. So this is technically kind of reusable. It, it is, it is reusable because hey, we're actually using the same component. We're simply shaping it based on the data. Now, is this good enough? Yes, for most cases, I will say that this is good enough and quite a lot of people do this. You will, when you work, see this all the time. I mean literally all the time. I don't think I've ever been in a project where this hasn't, I haven't seen code like this. I've seen this is rarer. It happens when people are stressed, but this is very common. So now let's look at the final case. So what do I mean when I say generic? What is generic? Because this is reusable and this is going to be generic. So let's have a look at that. My god, I don't have enough space on my computer. So here, 
let's have a look at the styles. It's the same thing, the reducer, same thing here. And I have a little bit of an indexed thing going on here that is just exporting something called party info card one and down payment info card one and payment info card one. We're going to look at that in just a moment. And then we have a component here. And this is quite a bit different. So what's going on here? So basically this component is called something weird called which is info card one. Now I know that that probably makes you cringe a little bit inside because that is a shitty name and I will be the first person to admit that that is not the world's best name but there is a reason why that is not the world's best name. You see this component I have designed from the inside. What do I mean by that? In other words if you look at what I'm passing in here. There is not a single thing that references a payment in any way. Because the idea of something that is generic is that it doesn't know what the hell is going on. It should. It has no knowledge of what the payment is. And if you think about it, why would it need to know about a payment? Why does it need to do that? This is just a template. It's just a representation of data that shows some type of information like this. There's no reason to involve the concept of a payment into this visual component because, I mean, what if I wanted to use it for something else? What if it's uh, there's another example of a component? I'll actually show you. I have one hidden hidden section here. So these, the, the, all these, this is the same component, all these three. I'll even prove it to you. It's the exact same component here. They, they, I, they are named differently and you will see why, but these are the, these three, they are the same. And this time we have basically a component with completely different information, but the structure is the same, the visuals, if you will. So what I'm doing here is basically that before I start thinking about the feature, I design the component that is going to visualize my information from the perspective of it, from this perspective, from inside of the component as a template. And in this template, all it needs to know is that, all right, I have a title, I have a subtitle, the first subtitle, and its value, and there's a t second subtitle and a second value for that subtitle. Then there's some button text here, and then there's some body text here, and an on-click function. Now, these names could be ni named in a nicer fashion. I'm going to be honest with you. I some, I quite often use this sort of way of naming things because in my world it's when you if you have no context and that's kind of the idea here if you have no context and you you name something in a generic fashion then find it's actually very tricky I, in, I find you can probably name your things better but I find it very tricky to create a completely generic name that is reusable and for me it's, this structure works very well because all I actually have to do is to create a label a unique label that represents the thing that I'm working with and that's pretty much it it doesn't really have to have a semantic name if it's going to be completely generic so what I did here now is that I created a generic setup for the actual template and then the specifics are being passed in at the container layer. So this is my down payment information card. This is the container and the container is now responsible for injecting all of the information that is specific to the down payment feature. The same thing goes for the payment feature. Here everything is being passed in as a property that contains that domain specific information and the power of this is that whenever I want to reuse that exact look and feel of that that um, that card that I created all I have to do is to create another container with this new information this has now this info card one is a truly generic component because I can reuse it as many times as I want as long and as long as the business logic doesn't change it's you can, I can use the same container but if it does change all I have to do is to actually create another instance of the, a container that contains that specific domain knowledge. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to start thinking about reusable components, you need to think about the implementation of your component from the inside of the com from inside of the component. Think of it from the perspective of the component and basically just create a component that is a template. It should not have to know about the data because the data is just something that you represent and it doesn't matter what the data is. What matters is how the component looks and how it behaves when it has something inside of it. So hopefully this has been useful to you. Have a great day.